so guys yeah another quick one so i'm going to show you how to uh, how to make uh, emotional chords using only fl keys which is stock plugin so this one is not it's not the hardest thing for me to do i won't lie and it's it's uh let me search fl keys it's very effective it's very very effective so the first thing you do here just add this thing so first thing you do this is your fl keys i'm just going to send it to, to a mixer also and add an eq here just for now so the next thing i'm just going to find my chords yeah so this is probably the hardest thing for people but let's just choose simple progression mm -hmm. let's just do the progression choose this one i want something very simple okay that's the one so okay we can remove this thing here now so i'm just going to add more notes to the key to the to the key so i will use this as my root key or we can just use a simple minor what what so go up seven times one two three four five six seven if i count it clearly sounds okay okay those are the keys so the first thing that i'm going to do take this maybe uh, just take the whole thing up yeah. something's wrong let's try this key. I don't know if it's right or wrong let me just do something that I can trust because I know I've been working on this key so yeah this one i'm sure it will work yeah. so the next thing you just take this root and then push it to the bottom here take this middle one here also push it octave upwards now you're almost there almost there so we're going to head on to this EQ that I've added in the beginning so this EQ you come to this thing here the last one say type uh, low pass right click first and then order and then maybe let's do this one reset here reset here so pull this down pull it down again resolve it. yeah now we're going somewhere so the next thing that we'll do is to add some reverb here where the hell is the reverb reverb just going to increase the weight maybe the uh, yeah maybe increase this one this one then increase that one yes there's something now you can just drum yep and then something can you drop the reverb 
these are the keys or loyalty so you can maybe add this few here maybe add some high pass also let's try the high pass here at the beginning kind of roll off this slow frequency this one then yeah now these keys are done guys you see if you do them like this they're actually done you can kind of work your way around them but the best thing about these keys is, is uh where they occupy frequency spectrum remember here we kind of rolled off these high frequencies and here we're rolling off these lower ones so they kind of in the middle of the spectrum so they kind of hold the track together so whatever context you have on the song if you had these type of keys on the song i guarantee you they will sound good just that now there's not a track on anything so if i were to add a bass line for for example let me just let me just add a bass the one that i always use just to prove my point the keys are done so let's just add the bass here Preset here, the base. Copy, paste here. <coughs> so let's remove these things here. Inflate here. Yeah. So just going to decrease the volume. See how that sounds now. Volume is good. Same thing on at the flat. Let's add a single pad here. So what I like to do with the pads, so and I don't actually like having them like a uh, apart. So we can just bring back that one. And maybe also already works, already works. So, the other thing that you could maybe do here yeah, to kind of spice up the whole thing is to actually add another one of these here. Yeah. And then make sure you just send it to the same to the same reverb and stuff and then you can actually use it to play the upper high keys since we kind of roll them off here but this one here is just for your texture and it gives the track a lot of body it always works trust me yeah guys i'm out maybe we might use it use this on the song <laughs> sure